We've all heard the saying, be aware of your surroundings, but how often do we really think about it, especially women? If someone attacked you, would you know how to react, how to save your life? Well, recently we caught up with a local couple who teaches women to get over their fears, showing them how to fight back. Oh, man. Back them off. You hear me? Someone you know attacks you for the first time. A stranger shoves you into the back of a van. It happens more than you think and could happen to you any day, anywhere. It's such a nasty thought. We just put it aside and we worry about it, but we don't do anything about it. According to self-defense experts Noel and Johnny Gyro, that mentality is a mistake and could cost you your life. For years, they've been teaching safe, simple, and effective techniques that help women get empowered, not to fight, but to fight back. This is an area that's foreign to women, so we can't have you learning how to fight and box and dismember people. I, I don't want to teach you how to break an arm. I want to teach you how to save your life. First things first, use common sense. Be aware of your surroundings, especially when alone or at night. And listen to your instincts. If a situation feels strange, chances are it is. One of the most common ways men attempt to control a woman is with the wrist grab. During a demonstration, Johnny grabbed my arm, and I did what most women do. I pulled away. That's wrong. It only forces the grip to get stronger. Instead, you step in towards your attacker, make a fist, and turn your arm up and away. Another typical grip, the chokehold. Again, there are mistakes women make here. Most women grab and pull on the hands, which really doesn't do anything, and it actually causes the attacker to want to secure you further once they realize you're trying to pull it. And then I can't breathe. Remember, you can fight back. Your arms are free. And he's got you tight. He's close enough to grab you. Reach up and use your two fingers on the base of that neck, and as you push loose, step back away. Push him away. Now go the opposite direction. Watch when you step and press. Good. Now the extension you got and the elongation you got now affects his breathing. In this situation, it's a simple push with your two fingers on his throat, right below the Adam's apple. Give me the keys. And say you find yourself in a parking lot and someone has demanded you give them your car keys or purse. Never resist. Instead, throw them, get them away, take the emphasis off of you. Because as you throw the objects in that opposite direction, you're off, you're running. These things can all be replaced. And one of the most important life saving tips of all, especially if someone is trying to force you into a car or a van, stand there and fight, stop the attack, and stop the, the uh, attempt of the abduction right there. You can save your life just from that standpoint alone. So your point is don't get in the car. You can't get in a car or van, you may never be found again. Now, Noel and Johnny, they do offer self-defense classes at their studio in Oak Park. They also have a well-produced DVD. It's called Live to Tell About It. For more information, you can go to www.livetotellaboutit.com.